Hey, what's going on? Keller Williams is Nick Baldwin, regional technology trainer for Michigan and Northern Ohio. And today I want to show you a new feature that rolled out with Command that allows you to edit the HTML style emails that are um, currently in Command before you could only add them to email campaigns without you know changing any of them, any of them up. And now you can edit them, which is great because we've got, um, we've got just uh, working with buyers, we've got working with sellers, we've got a template that Let's you send happy birthday emails and home anniversary. Today, we're going to focus on happy birthday and how you can edit it and customize it more. And then with the cherry on top, throw a video in there for your client as well. So <clears throat> let's jump on in, show you exactly how we do that. All right. So first, first, what we want to do is we want to jump into designs. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. We want to jump into designs and we're going to want to click the plus button and choose email and click next. Then we are going to see a whole bunch of new email templates for just listed, just sold. But what I want to focus on is going down to the bottom here and choosing happy birthday. And let's click next. Then it brings us to the template so we can edit anything here. We can replace this photo. We can edit the verbiage here. You can delete stuff. And the way that you edit things is you just click on where you want to edit, click the pencil button, and then just kind of start typing, right? And then when you want to save it, click done. Um, if you want to delete it, you can. If you want to add more text, bring this over here. You can throw in another text bar and we can say, you know, um, you know, happy birthday. Oops, can't even spell today. Right. And then when we click done, that shows up here, just kind of showing you what you can do. Um, your merge field for contact first name uh, will be there um, automatically. And so you can also edit those. Click the edit button and come over here. Your merge fields are all um, under this list. So I want to keep it for I want to keep the cl the contact first name in there. I don't want anything else. And then your agent first name. Again, you can uh, add that merge field as well. Uh, you can put your last name there. You know, it's all customizable. Um, what I also want to do is I want to show you how we add a video. So let's take this video and throw this like right um, in between contact first name and happy birthday. All right. And I got to get the video URL. So I've recorded a video on BombBomb, Bomb, which is right here. There's my goofy face. And, um, you know, here, this is kind of the video I did just for, um, you know, ex uh, just for, you know, example purposes. Hey, how's it going? It's Nick Baldwin. Wanted to reach out and say happy birthday. Have an awesome day. I hope. Anyway, so you get the point. So it's a 30 second video. We're going to copy that link. We're going to come back over here to our template and we're going to put that link right here in the video URL, uh, URL link. Click paste. And I want to replace the thumbnail. I want to add a thumbnail, right? So how do I do that? Well, I went into designs and I got a happy birthday template um, in, in, in designs and they're in there. You'll find them. So I saved this to my hard drive. And what I want to do is I want to come back over to the template and I want to click replace and I want to add the image and I can upload from uh, my hard drive. Um, and if I already have images, and I've already uploaded, I can just choose it. So I'm gonna select it, click replace, and then I wanna click done. You can see, there you go, there's your thumbnail. So we scroll down, we can um, remove the download the app button, which I'm going to do because it's a happy birthday email and I don't really wanna sell them anything. Um, so I like the way everything looks. Let's look at a preview, come up to options, click preview. And <clears throat> we can see exactly how this looks. So there's the video. Uh, here's the little note. You know, there's our photo. And we can see how it looks on a tablet and on a phone. And you can also see how it looks when you search contacts. Let's say I'm sending it to, to Aaron. Watch this. When I click Aaron, see Aaron's name is replaced. It's replaced with Aaron's name. Hi, Aaron, at the top. So you just kind of see how it looks, you know, when you add someone's name there. So let's click out of there because I want to send myself a test email. So let's send a test email. Okay. Here we go. Send a test email. Perfect. Now let's go log into my Gmail. 
so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, now I want to go into this Gmail account because that's where I sent it. Okay, it's going to take a few minutes probably. Let's refresh. If it doesn't send to this one, I will send it to another one. Let me send it to another one just in case. Send test email. Call the KW. Let's send that. Let's go over to my KW account and refresh. Refresh, refresh. Oh, there we go. It came in. There's the test. Let's open it up. All right. Here's the email. Looks really good. And if I click this, it opens up my bomb bomb. There's the bomb bomb email. Hey, how's it going? It's Nick Baldwin. Wanted to reach out and say happy birthday. Have cool. So that's how you do that. Now, let's save and exit. We called this happy birthday. Oh, let me change the name. Happy birthday. Let's just call it custom. Okay. And save and exit. Now I want to show you how to send it. <clears throat> that's really important. <laughs> uh, what we want to do is we want to go into campaigns. So we're going to leave this. And we are going to go into emails. And then we're going to go to create a new campaign email called this happy birthday and click command email to send it out set up campaign now what we want to do here is scroll down to the bottom select design content for your email when we click that here's our happy birthday custom click it and we want that we want to use it okay save Okay, so here it is, guys. Here's the email we want to send out. And we want to send it to a recipient, right? So you want to create the list. And when you create the list, we want to try to find someone's name. So today's my wife's birthday. So I could send it to my wife, right? I'm not going to, but there she is, okay? Uh, so that's was select. That's who I want to send it to. I have to give it a, a name. So let's call it Ann Baldwin. And then I can click Confirm. So Anne is now added to the recipients list, and I'm going to write her a, a, a you know a subject. Happy birthday, honey. <laughs> right? If I want to do that. So anyway, um, and then what I could do is I could schedule it out. Right? Well, today is her birthday, so I could I could have it go out at a specific time today. Um, if her birthday is in a week from now, I could schedule it out to go out on her birthday. Um, and I can preview it. Here's the preview. And um, I, or I could just send. I'm not going to send it to her, but that's basically how you do it, guys. We're all done. We have created uh, we've created a custom happy birthday or semi-custom happy birthday email uh, with a video. So hope you learned a lot. We will see you next time.